guys and welcome to Tasmania TV. Today's video is a semi-requested video if there is such a thing. Um, I got a request to show you guys how to make a romper which is something that I usually refer to as a play suit and today I'm gonna do a play suit that is made from an old t-shirt. So again with the recycling, I like that. So here is the t-shirt before And here it is after. So if you guys are curious on how to turn your t-shirt into a play suit or a romper, stay tuned for the tutorial. First things first, in order to do this you need an oversized t-shirt. You can't have one of those tiny t-shirts because this needs to be long enough to cover your butt and the width, the lower width, need to be wide enough to fit both of your thighs because that's going to be turned into legs, little short legs. So this is my t-shirt, let's get cutting. First thing we want to do here is cut off the neckline of the t-shirt and you decide how plunging you want your neckline to be. After that it's time to cut off both of the sleeves. Again, you decide how wide you want your straps to be up here. I like mine to be as thin as possible, so I'm gonna cut as close to where the neckline was as possible, and then all the way down here. Then you can take the piece that you just cut off, flip it over, place it on the other side, and then use that to measure when you cut the other. If you like, you could just keep this as a nice strapping tank top, but we're gonna go for a play suit today. The next step can vary depending on what kind of t-shirt you have. If you have the kind of t-shirt that has sewn edges right here, you need to cut those off first. This t-shirt, however, does not have that. See, it's completely seamless on both sides, so I will not need to cut anything off. Instead, I'm gonna cut slits sideways all the way across. And again, you decide how thick you want these to be. You can decide for yourself if you want to keep the original hemline of the t-shirt or if you want to cut that off. I actually like the hemline, so I'm keeping that intact, which means that I'm not cutting into it Instead, I'm cutting, cutting slightly above as I do the slits. When all the slits have been cut, I'm going to open them up, which means I'm going to cut through them all in this direction. And I'm placing my hand onto the t-shirt like so to make sure that it stays in place. And I'm not going to cut through too many at once. Maybe these four. You want to make sure to cut in the fold. After that, repeat that process on the other side of your t-shirt. Once you're done with that step, you should have fringes along both sides of your t-shirt. T-shirt fabric is super elastic and it can stretch pretty damn far. So what we're going to do now is stretch these fringes a little bit so that they become sort of rounded and just more pretty looking because now they just look like fringes. So I'm just going to tug like this. See how that becomes more like a spaghetti thing? That's what we want. So just tug each and every one of them all the way through. You can do two or three at once if you like. as before, repeat that process on the other side. Once you've tugged your way through all the straps, it's time to put this back on in order to decide how long the slit will be down here, or the crotch area. 
and you have to try it on in order to really get the right measurement here. So I have it on right now, trying to have it on the way it's gonna fit later. So what I'm, it's completely open on the side as you can see. So what I'm gonna do now is try to make these lower ends meet. I'm just gonna put like a little temporary pin in here just to keep them together. And then on the same, same thing on the other side. Marker pins are on. And then I'm just gonna touch myself on the crotch a little bit just to see. Okay, so somewhere here. So I'm gonna measure, <laughs> measure this. So basically you measure from like the top of your punan and then down to here. And then we're gonna cut that slit. So fold it over so that you get the middle here. And then here is where you take out that measurement. And this is how big we will cut the slit. Alrighty. Now what we're gonna do next is sew the slit together again. And I'm gonna start by pulling this so that it's inside out. And then lining these up. Here's one of the legs. So we're just gonna pin to keep that in place. But literally the only thing you need to sew is the slit or the little crotch V right here. So a cheater's way of sewing shorts or whatever, uh, you're usually supposed to cut these in half. But since this t-shirt has a print, that I really don't want to ruin, I'm doing the cheater's way instead and hoping nobody will notice. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that little V. After your t-shirt has been sewn into shorts like that, what remains is tying up the ends. And I'm gonna do that while I'm fitting myself into my play suit. So I'm just gonna start tying these bad boys. Starting off by doing the two at the top and then the two at the bottom. And then I'm just going to do everything in between. And if you need to here, cut your slits longer. If you like the fringes, keep them on. Otherwise, just cut them off. And if this becomes too deep for you, a trick is to just put a safety pin on each side up here. But other than that, you're done. If you don't like the holes showing off your skin, make sure that you get a bigger, even bigger t-shirt. Or if you like the holes to go all the way up, like mine does not right now, then when you get to the waist part here, when you're thinner than you were down here, just cut your slits further in. That is it you guys for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, post them in the comments and I will get back to you. Until next time, bye!